Okay, so the first theorem that we have to do with planar graphs is literally referred to as the first theorem of planar graphs, and that is, so we have a theorem, and it's if G is a plane graph, in other words, a planar graph, with the regions indicated by IR, then the sum of the degree of the regions, for all, you know, the regions that you have, is equal to two times the size of G. And one of the things you'll notice, because we're going to prove this, if you think back to, you know, that example that we just did, where we said, okay, when we have something like this, and we're working out the degrees of the regions, when the regions are cycles, or contained by cycles, you have the edges accounted once. So edges counted once in cycles. And when the edges are not part of a cycle, they get counted twice when it comes to the degrees of the regions. So remember we had that situation, we had this one, went through, went through, went through, kind of a thing, went through, and then it was counted twice. So when it's not part of a cycle, it gets counted twice. So that's what we're going to use to prove this. So our proof, we have if E is on a cycle, so if you have any edge basically, any arbitrary edge on a cycle, then E lies in two regions. And that kind of makes sense when you think about it, because if you have a cycle, you're enclosing something, right? And the moment you enclose something, you have an inside and an outside area, and I don't like that color, and an outside area. So that's what we're saying here. If E is on a cycle, so if E is any edge on a cycle, it's going to lie in two regions. It's going to lie in that inside region and that outside region. Okay, and it contributes one to each of the regions. And that makes sense, again, because you're first going to use it to describe the inside region and will only count once in that inside region. We've actually seen it happen. And then we're going to look at it counting for the outside region. So then it's going to count for the outside region. And again, in the outside region, it is only going to count once. Okay. So we have that idea there. Then we're like, if E does not lie on a cycle, so in other words, the situation like over there, then it lies in only one region, okay, and you can see it by over there when it's not in a cycle, it's literally lying in one region, same as like if you had an, another example where we have, let's actually just draw it like this, this kind of a situation, again you only have one region. Okay, so we know it only lies in one region, but it is going to be counted twice in the degree of that region. And that is because we need a closed walk, so we need to get back somewhere. So like even with this one, if we started here, we had one, we still had to go there and we have to come back. We still have to go there and we have to come back and then we have to go back kind of thing. So every edge, which is not part of a cycle, gets counted twice in the degree of that one singular region that it's part of. Okay? And then when we sum up all the degrees of the regions, you end up with every edge being counted twice. And we know that if we count every edge twice, it's two times the size of the graph. And thus, we have finished our proof for this. So the idea behind this is, when you're looking at this, the way that you define your regions with the shortest closed walk kind of just gives you a situation where the sum of all the regions in your planar graph is two times the size of your graph. 